what I'd like to do is show you how to solve a system of equations using substitution. In our problem, what we have is 5x plus 3y equals 12 and x plus 2y equals 8. When doing um, substitution, what we were going to do is we need to solve for a variable and then we're going to plug that one variable into our other equation. So, and looking at our two equations, I noticed that in this second equation, I have a variable that has a coefficient of 1. That's going to make it very easy for me to solve for that one variable. Because the variable, all I need to do is um, all I need to do is one step, and the variable is already by itself. So I'm going to kind of do this on a separate um, separate uh, problem over here to show you how easy it is to solve for your variable x. So I'll have x plus 2y equals 8. I want to solve for my x variable. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to use the inverse operation. Since the 2y is added to my variable, I'm going to use the inverse operation of subtraction of equality. And I'm going to subtract 2y on both sides. Since I'm doing it on both sides, it is a valid, um, valid operation. These now are going to cancel, or they're going to turn to 0. And therefore, I'm left with x equals a negative 2y plus 8. And I'm writing the negative 2y in front of the 8 because that is um, mathematically correct. We like to always write the variable in front of the constant. So now I have just solved a problem for x equals negative 2 y plus 8. Now what I'm going to do is we can't solve for two variables in the same equation. So I need to somehow get rid of this y. Well, what I'm going to do is, I'm sorry, get rid of this x. I'm going to actually, what I'm going to do is I'm going to plug in what x equals in for x. So now I'm going to write 5 times, and not rather than x, I'm going to say what does x equal? Well, x equals a negative 2y plus 8 plus 3y equals 12. So therefore, if you kind of look at what I just did, I took my original equation for this equation, and I plugged it into my first equation. All right? So now, I'll use my distributive property. I get a negative 10y plus 40 plus 3y equals 12. Now I need to combine my like terms. I notice these both have a y in them, so I get a negative 7y plus 40 equals 12. Subtract 40 on both sides. And check to make sure everything is correct. Yes. All right. Subtract 40 on both sides. Therefore, I get a negative oh yeah, 7y equals a negative 28. Divide by negative 7. Divide by negative 7. y equals a positive 4. So therefore, now I just solve for my y variable. So what I can do is once I've solved for my y variable, is now plug in what my y variable into either one of these original equations, or I prefer we like to solve it for my equation that I already solved for x. Because it's already solved for x, all I have to do is now plug in my y variable into there, and I'll get my answer. So I say x equals negative 2 times a positive 4 plus 8. x now equals a negative 8 plus 8, x equals 0. Now I've solved for my y variable, and I've solved for my x variable. Again, quick steps. You find which variable you want to solve for. You solve for that given variable. Then you plug that equate that um, what that given variable equals into one of the original equations for that variable. You solve for the, um, for the given variable in the equation. In this case, it was y. And then you plug it back into the other equation. So that's how you solve a system of equations using substitution.